Hello, bees bladers, and welcome newcomers to the channel. I am so excited. I've been waiting for this one to come out, and it finally dropped, and I went, pa ping and I was like, okay, is it here yet? Is it here yet? Is it here yet? Is it here yet? So I was really excited about this one because I really like the micarta on this one, and I'm hoping it has the same micarta. On top of, I think I'm digging the blade shape, but we're about to find out. And thank you subscribers, thank you channel members, thank you patrons on Patreon. You guys are making this channel a blast. And if you guys want to join, the join button's around, I don't know, somewhere around right there. Go check it out and see what your options are and see what perks you're going to get. Yeah, look at that sticker. You get one of those bad boys, too. All right, so let's get in here and see what this is all about. Let's get in the box. Let's get in the box. Yeah, I mean, it requires a lot of cutting, you know, a lot of sophistication to get into this box because, you know, I have to cut the tape. And <laughs> I don't cut my boxes up because I repurpose them because that's like part of having a uh, a channel is shipping, shipping and receiving. Ooh, here we go, here we go. It's a Noosa BB. And we got peanuts. Got some peanuts. <clears throat> Love the peanuts. Yeah. Okay, well, how do we get in here? All right, here's your Civivi box. And where's the labeling? <laughs> okay, so it doesn't say anywhere. Oh, there it is. Okay, all right, there we go. The Relic. Uh, model C two zero zero seven seven B dash three dark green dark green micarta handle gray stone wash nitro V blade oh yeah handle with a built in stowable tweezers liner lock yeah we got some tweezers in case you get a splinter or a splintar let's get in here and see what it looks like and then we'll take it apart and see what the inside looks like. Get your typical CV, CVV pouch. They have the sweet pouches. I love these things. And this is what you get in it. You get a sticker, CVV sticker, and you get a CVV aluminum sticker, and you get a little insert, and you get a nice cloth. Love these cleaning cloths. They are the bomb. Okay, here we go. Here we go, guys. You ready to see it? Are you ready? Are you as excited as I am? Ready, go. Ooh, yeah, look at that. Oh man, holy cow. This is some awesome micarta. This, I think this is definitely the best micarta I've ever felt from Civiti. Whoa. I'll give you an up close of that micarta here in a minute. Here's this side. If you want to take a screenshot. Whoa, look at that. I'm excited. I think I have a thing. I have a relationship with micarta. <laughs> Here's the top. Oh, the liners are black. Ooh, very nice. Very, very nice. Check that out. There's the tweezers. We'll check those out here in just a second. And there's your blade. Ooh, nice stone wash. Nitro V. Nitro V blade. Doesn't have markings all over it. That's pretty cool. I don't know. I've been I've been wanting a different blade shape lately, and I think this might just scratch that itch. But let's get up nice and close. We might as well check out a little bit of fit and finish while we're at it. Now, there's, uh, there's, let's see, there's four, three or four different versions of this. The green micarta, this one here, is $72.95. And then there's a black one for, set, it's $72.95, this one's $73. You end up getting this for $60, 66 bucks if you use the Bees Blades discount code. And if you don't already know and don't watch my channel, there's discount codes in the description of this video to three different places. And White Mountain Knives, you can get this and get, uh, I don't know, about six, seven bucks off. But yeah, check out that blade. Wow. The finish is really nice. It's very uniform. It's very even. I'm liking the finish on this bad boy. And that's a pretty nice, even looking grind. We'll see how sharp it is. See if it'll cut paper. Nitro V, it's the only markings on the blade right there. Nitro V. Has some nice jimping up here. Oh, okay, nice. I don't like it when the, the jimping is smooth because then it's pretty much useless. But this, it's grabbing, it's grabbing the skin. Right, let's see if it'll cut paper. Now they do have a fancy version of this. Um, it has the green micarta with uh, Damascus. Now that one, that one's like 89. But the other ones are 72, 95, 73, 95. And there's the green micarta with the gray and then the burgundy with the black. So they have the black blade with the burgundy. And it looks it looks pretty cool. So I guarantee this has got to be sharp. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep, how's that? <laughs> there we go. 
Yes, that. Whew. Yeah, it's sharp. It is sharp. Love it. Love it. Look at that edge. That is a nice factory edge. I have to say, that is a nice, clean, even-looking factory edge. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right, I'm going to do some quick specs. Let's get the weight on this bad boy. Okay, let's see what this thing weighs. What's it going to weigh? Uh, it's, it has a little bit of heft to it. I'm going to give it uh, four. Uh, four and a quarter. I'm going to go four and a quarter. And it is, oh, 3.81. I guess way high, way high on this one. All right, I'm going to get the measurements and zip through them. All right, you guys ready for specs in less than 60 seconds? Here we go. Going to get up nice and close for you. Do a little closey. Are you ready? Are you set? Okay, from tip to tip, we're eight and one sixteenth inch. And this is a clip point blade with nitro V steel. And it has a nice stone wash. It's a total blade length, 3.47 inches. Your sharpened length is 3.39 inches. Your blade width is 1.07 inches, so it's an inch. Your blade stock thickness is 117 thousandths of an inch. And your thickness behind the edge is a screaming nine to ten thousandths behind the edge. Yeah, you heard it. You heard it right. And then for the handle, we have a beautiful green micarta. And your handle length from tip to tip or edge to edge is 4.58 inches. And your handle width is 0.93 inches. Handle thickness is 0.52 inches. And this is a liner lock. And we have a reversible, yes, a reversible tip-up carry. Oh, yeah. And is it a deep carry? Yes, it is. Yes, sir. Yes, ma'am. And we have no screws. No screws sticking out. No mushrooms growing under the shade and there are your specs let's see what it looks like going in and out of the pocket oh boy it's tight Ooh, not even gonna say anything yeah it's nice and snug nice and snug that micarta helps hold on to the, your jeans so that's what it looks like in the pocket pretty nice pretty nice oh that's pretty good all right let's do some quick size comparisons let's see what it looks like width wise here's the spider co manix 2 so it's a little wider than that, and here's the Spyderco Tenacious. Now I always try to throw some up you guys might have. Here's the Spyderco Pair 3, and I kind of like throwing up the Spydercos. Here's the Spyderco Delica, Delica 4. It's a wee one. And here's the CJRB Feldspar. Gotta have the Feldspar. It's about, about equal with the Feldspar. And here is the Brazen, the Civivi Brazen. And then, of course, the Civivi Riffle, which I use to open the box. The Civivi Riffle might be a little bit thinner. Yeah, it is. Just a wee bit. All right, I'm going to lay this puppy down and lay these out so you guys can get an idea of just how big or small this knife is. Are you ready? Here we go. Here's the Spyderco Manix 2. And here is the Spyderco Tenacious. Always tenacious. So, yeah, look at there. Full-size knife, nice full-size knife. And I bet these ergos are gonna be good already because they're neutral. Neutral ergos are a good thing. They're very nice, very, very nice. There's a Spyderco Pair 3, and here is the Spyderco Delica. The not-so-delicate Delica. I'm trying to get them lined up really well there. Look at there, look at there. So it's bigger than both of those bad boys. And here's a couple more you guys might have. You just might, you just may. This one is the CJRB Feldspa. Can't help it. I don't know why I have to say that one weird. So look at there. If you have, a lot of folks have the Feldspa and a lot of people have the CRKT Pilar 3. So there's a really good comparison for you, man. It's uh, pretty comparable in size and blade shape too. Except for this is a little more of the clip point. Kind of a whoosh, Have that nice swedge right there. Ooh, look at that. And I'm going to throw up one more. This is the one. I have two that I was really curious how it was going to compare to. So here's the Civivi Brazen. I'm going to line them up really well. And then here is the Civivi Riffle. And it even has better micarta than the Riffle. Now you can see this Riffle is darkened from, from use. But how about that? So there's the Brazen. There's the Riffle. And I'm going to show you, in case you do have a Riffle, I know it's very popular, look at the difference. The riffle is more smooth and kind of, not plasticky, but more coated. Whereas this has a little more of that real micarta feel. That real micarta. So I'm going to give you a close-up here. Look at that. The more fabric-y look. Let me see if I can hold myself still for one second. <laughs> look at that. Would you look at it? Man, that is my kind of micarta. It actually feels like fabric. 
Let me give it a little bit of light here. Look at that. Would you look at it? Just look at it. Oh my goodness, yes. Good micarta. I am staring right now, I can't help myself. All right, so to break, to break it down, let's see uh, what kind of lockup we're looking like here. Let's look. Um, oh, well, it's not, it's, I would say about 40%. Sorry, I'm all over the place. I think we're about 40% lockup, maybe 50%. So the lockup's good. We'll see what the inside looks like in there in just a minute. And there's no pass, well, I guess you can call that a pass through. Just a little bit of a cutout here to break it down. And yeah, it's pretty comfortable. Not too bad, pretty comfortable. All right, let's see what it looks like here. Pretty much you have, uh, let's see, we can do the pinch open. Oh yeah, for sure. And I'm checking out that, um, how easy it is to, to uh, disengage. It's not too bad. Uh, I wish it had just a hair more, but you can see there's a little bit of jimping on the inside there. It's not aggressive, but yeah, that's pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable. Here, here's your push button. Very nice. Very, very nice. Here's your light switch. Yeah, it's quick. It's quick. It's right out there. Pinch open. And can I do a reverse flick? Oh, yes. Oh my gosh. I am not good at doing a reverse flick just using the blade, but this blade I'm able to, I think just because the blade comes up just like that, just enough. Yes. Ah, okay. I'm excited. We have an extra deployment method. Yes. <laughs> Let's try it left-handed. Nice. Left-handed is very comfortable. Very comfortable left-handed. It's easy to get your thumb in there. Oh yeah. There we go. Pinch open. I'm not even going to try to reverse flick it with my left finger. There's no way I can do that with my left. <laughs> okay, I'm going to stop while I'm ahead. All right, so let's check out the ergos. My hand is four inches from here to here, three and a half from here to here, and from the base of my palm to the tip of my middle finger is seven and a quarter. Let's see what the handle looks like. Yep, there we go. There we go. It's pretty neutral. Um, let's see. I'm feeling the pocket clip a little bit. I think that's to be expected, but it's not bad. Not bad at all. You can see where my fingers fall. You know the size of my hand. It's not bad. I'm feeling the pocket clip and then I'm feeling right here a little bit, but that's pretty much going to be with about every knife you get. It's pretty comfortable. Oh yeah, that's comfortable too. Look at that. Your thumb hits those, uh, jumps right there. A little bit of jump going on. Yeah. A jump going on. Do we have a sharpening choil? I guess you could call that a sharpening choil. <laughs> Maybe. Not much of one. You have room before you hit the plunge grind, though. The plunge grind's up here, so you do have room, but I wish it had a I wish it had a sharpening choil going on. That's kind of odd. Oh, and I almost forgot. Let's check out the tweezers. Here are the tweezers right here in the end. And oh, they're bigger than I thought they would be. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, they feel they feel pretty good. They feel a little stronger than I thought they would. Hey, look at that. They actually work. They grab skin. All right. That's, a lot of tweezers aren't worth a diddly, but these do a pretty good job. They come to a nice point, and they're nice and even. So, all right. You never know if the tweezers are going to be worth a darn or not. So, let's see. I have a little bitty lip. See that little lip right there? And I think the lip goes outwards. Let's see. Yep. There you go. You I almost forgot that it had it. You don't feel it? That's pretty nice. That's pretty cool. Hey, what do you think? So there you go. Let's see how the action is here. Oh, yeah. This Once I get a little bit of KPL in here, I bet this is going to be even smoother. It's dropping pretty smooth. Little, giving it have to give it a little, little bit of gravity. But that's not too bad. So what's my overall impression? Um, what Do I have anything negative to say? Um, let's Pushing down on it, bearing down. I'm not getting any hot spots. It's pretty darn comfortable. I can feel this dude just a tad. And of course, I can feel that just a tad. But it's not bad. It's not bad at all. I'm just saying, eh, they're saying, hey, I'm here. But that's about it. I don't have anything negative to, to point out yet. Maybe after carrying it, maybe I'll find something. I mean, that's not the point of me looking at the knife. But if I do notice something, of course, I'll bring it up to you guys. Hey, before I forget, if you're still here, do me a favor and hit the like the like button, the thumbs up button. Subscribe if you're not subscribed because we're going to break this thing down and see what it looks like on the inside. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. All right, you guys ready to get in here? I have a uh, T8 
bit already in my bits bit driver and i'm going to get a six out i have my weha bit set and i definitely know i'm going to need a t6 and get you one of these there's a link in the description of that bad boy all right so let's see how easy or difficult it is to break this open oh surprisingly very easy wow that would didn't doesn't even feel like it has loctite on it uh, i don't see any doesn't look like it all right all right and this body screw what kind of body screw we have man these screws are coming out quite easy i'm actually very surprised there's like nothing to it nothing to it yeah there's no loctite on there whatsoever can you see that at all it's a very dark screw so i'm gonna put that bad boy up there and we're gonna need a t6 to take our clip off and I am just having so much fun taking these knives apart. Ugh. And actually, you know, part of the fun of this, of the disassembly, is doing it on camera and doing things that are uh, not necessarily uncomfortable, but, you know, that's how you grow, is getting out of your comfort zone. Set this bad boy over here. And let's all oh, check that out. <laughs> Tweezers are just sitting in there when you take it apart. I guess you could take the tweezers out first, huh? Just set those bad boys over there. Now let's see what it looks like inside here. That looks pretty darn clean. Looks pretty clean. I'm going to get this oil off because I'm going to put my own on there. All right, let's pop this off. See how easy... Oh, yeah. There we go. It's coming right off. Yeah. Yeah. Set these guys aside. Man, the inside looks really clean. Really, really clean. There's your look. There's a look at your ceramic ball bearings. Look at that. Very nice. Very, very nice. Got a little, little bitty detent track going on right there. There's your stop pin. That's pretty cool. And this, this has an internal stop pin. That stop pin rides inside this track. So that's nice and strong stop pin going on. All right. So let's take this off. I'm going to try to keep everything on camera for you guys. And, you know, I'm not going to take the scales off. I don't see any reason to. Get me a little alcohol on a piece of cloth. Doesn't take much. Little dabble do ya. Little dual dab ya. Let's clean this bad boy off. So, yeah, you guys can uh, get a good look of what the inside of the knife. I'll show it up nice and close here in a second. Make sure I get... See, I mean, you still do get some stuff off of there. So, anything you take off is, is going to affect your action just a little bit. Just a little bit. Pull that through there. Wipe it around. Just around town. So, look at that. That's nice and clean. On both sides. Looks pretty good. Looks pretty good. Clean the... Clean those little dudes off. These are nice looking bearings. Nice looking ceramic bearings. Ceramic ball bearings, boys and girls. I know one of these days I might get to the point where I start replacing bearings with fancy ones. But at this point, I'm not that fancy. <laughs> you can see there's a little bit of oil right there. I'm going to take that off. Just because, just because. I'm going to take the pivot out and clean the pivot real quick. And this pivot is not D-shaped. Is it? No, it's not. What? So what is keeping it from spinning? Well, it's keeping it from spinning. Uh, nothing that I can see. Huh. Interesting. So the pivot is round. There's nothing keeping it from spinning. But <clears throat> does that mean I'm going to have to position it a certain way? That's a good question. Good question. I don't even see a knot. Oh, okay. Here we go. Look, guys. <laughs> see that notch right there? It's kind of hard to see but there's a notch at least it looks like it a, a slight notch but I don't see where anything matches that notch oh yeah right there okay so the lighting is not cooperating right there see that see that there that's gonna stop your pivot from spinning okay <laughs> mystery solved so let's get the C VV back in space there it goes. Locks right into place. Okay. All right. Much better. And I have some KPL knife pivot lube. There, that's what it looks like. I've got it all wore off. 
just going to put a little dab on here and it's going to be another Friday night for another Friday night live at the hive here coming up and if you haven't watched one of my uh, disassembly videos I don't use a lot of KPL it little dabble do you and here's a note guys I have learned this your bearings see how you have a smooth side as far as this edge right here and then a rough side the rough side from my experience always points towards the blade so I'm going to put this pointing towards the blade and then I'll put a little drop on one side and then move it around drop over here and then get it all nice and mixed in but yeah I have, I've got some man I've got some exciting knives headed to the channel I'm telling you what it is moving and grooving. You know, if I could quit my job and do this full time, I think I would really enjoy it. I really enjoy my job, though. <laughs> I don't. I don't know if I'd want to do this full time because when when something becomes work, it's less of a hobby, and I think that would take the fun away from it. So yeah, I don't think I would do it full time because you know, all work and no play makes Jack a dull boy, and I think it's probably a you know you have to keep a good balance. Life is about balance. And let's put this guy in there and just put a couple little drops. And I'm just putting tiny little drops on here, guys, because I don't want it leaking all over the place. It doesn't take much to make everything everything go around like it's supposed to. Yeah, there we go. So this is easy peasy lemon squeezy. Very, very nice. There's a nice back spacer there. Kind of hard for you guys to see. Let's see if we can put her back together. Man, it's just going back together like a glove. That's how easy. Easy and simple. Easy breezy. Now watch, I'll say that. <laughs> oh, heck will go. All right, it looks like it's lining up pretty good. Pretty good, boys and girls. Looks like we're lining up. Let's put our pivot in here. And where is my bit? There it is. Put my pivot back. So you guys, I mean, you saw it laying out here on the table, so you got to see what the... The guts of it look like as I throw my screws all over creation. Oh, that's a T8. Let's get this. Put this in here. And I'm missing a screw. Hopefully it's somewhere around. <laughs> Hopefully I didn't lose it anywhere. That's, that's lining right up. Let's see. Is it catching? Yes, it is catching. So I am missing a screw. I probably grabbed it with a bit. Where did I put it? Oh, no, I'm not missing a screw. No, I'm not. It's in here. It's in there. It's in there. Make sure I'm focused for you guys. Make sure I'm focused. But, man, that was that was pretty darn easy. Now, I as I said before, I tighten this down, and then I get these in. I don't tighten them very much. I just get them in just enough just to start, like I did with this one here, just so they're where they're supposed to be. I get the pivot pretty much how I want it before I tighten these guys down. I'm just getting them in there until I start to feel resistance. Those are kind of long screws in there. Just, is it even grabbing? It doesn't even feel like it's grabbing. So let me try a little bit of pressure. It doesn't even feel like it's grabbing at all. So let me back, back this back one out. A little bit of trial and error. Okay, now it's now it's getting a hold. No, it's not. <laughs> so this screw is just spinning. It's not grabbing a hold whatsoever, which isn't very cool. I'm not sure why yet. So why aren't we getting... See, everything was going nice and smooth, and then this guy's just not lining up, not wanting to go in there at all. At all. So, you guys can see this whole thing happen in here. Loosen that. I don't know what the deal is, why the screw. I didn't move anybody. You guys can see the real struggle. Um, see if we can figure out what the problem is. What the problem is? I didn't move anybody. Didn't take anybody out. Didn't want to. Man, I thought we were done. 
thought it was just done and over just like that. And there is blue Loctite on this screw. And speaking of blue Loctite, um, I don't use it typically, but I check my screws a lot. If you don't check your screws all the time, I suggest you use Loctite. And when you do, just use a toothpick's worth, just a tiny, tiny little bit. And then when you once you do, you get the knife adjusted to how you want it, and then you don't freaking touch your knife. You leave your knife alone. I leave mine alone for 24 hours if I use Loctite. It went in that time, guys. I guess it just needed a little little prod, just a little bit. Okay. All right. So let's see how lined up we are. Let's just check right now. Okay. We got to gotta tighten her up. Sometimes things line up really easy and sometimes it's a pain in the derriere. Oh yeah, nice. Look at that. Let's see what it feels like. Oh my gosh, look at that. That's pretty good. It's, it's centered, um, it's super solid, which means I can back it out just a hair to make it a little more smooth. I'm just going about an eighth of a turn, if that. Nice and solid. Oh yeah, there we go. Yeah, that's pretty good. That'll get all, all that lube worked in there. It's nice and smooth. Yeah, I can loosen up just a little bit more. Just a hair. I might end up putting some Loctite in this one. There we go. Nope, it got loose, so I have to tighten it just a hair. This one I might put a Loctite just because it feels like it might move on me, but I'll probably wait and see what happens. So there's your action, guys. It's pretty solid. If you feel any play, give it a little bit of tightening. There we go. There we go. Yeah. Get this tightened up and let you guys go. Um, I appreciate you guys hanging out and watching and hanging out with me. Kind of feels like you're here. The only thing is, I'm not seeing you in the chat, but I love seeing you guys in the live streams and in the live chats. And I give these guys a couple good tightenings. I don't crank them down, but I get them tight, nice and tight. How does it feel? Yes. So there you go. There's the Civivi Relic, guys. Now you know what the inside looks like, which there's not much to it. You saw how easy it was to get centered back up. Yeah, look at that. Tell me what you think. What do you think about it? Leave me a comment. And... As always, guys, remember to live life in the present, keep a Band-Aid handy, and don't cut yourself.